California state law requires veterans to be provided with a proper burial. However, that hasn't always been the case. Some vets were buried in nondescript holes with only a number attached to their site, commonly referred to as pauper's graves, because of a lack of resources or knowledge about veteran benefits. But now there is an effort to locate these buried soldiers and give them the service they deserve. Crown Force Teresa Stasio caught up with a member of the Marin County Veterans Office on a mission to right the past for these buried vets. They always had a place, we just, it, it wasn't enforced. Sean Stevens with the Marin County Veterans Office is determined to do the right thing. For years, he has worked to locate veterans in the county buried in pauper's graves. And this is one of the bronze plaques, uh, number 72, and then uh, right next to it is number 96. And so it, it appears that the grid, the way the numbers are both facing, that the grid goes west um, with the remains underneath. I met Stevens in this grassy field, now a county park in San Rafael. However, years ago, it was the site of a mental health hospital where veterans came for care and some died. Being buried in the ground, identified only with a small concrete stone and a number. There was no gun salute, no plaque with their name or mention of their service to the country. At this time, we haven't found any records to identify the numbers with the people. But I'm hoping when we go through the records with uh, the death certificate that the number may be on there. This is not the first time I spoke with Stevens. Back in 2019, the program to find lost vets had just gotten underway. The operation hit a standstill during COVID, but it is now up and running and finding success, such as here at Mount Tamapayas Mortuary and Cemetery. Records connected eight veterans whose remains had been kept in storage for decades. You know, it's really unfortunate. It, a, a, lot of, a lot of people who pass away, who maybe uh, just have one another, um, so they go from the crematorium back to the mortuary and they get left, they get forgotten. Just recently, a caravan took place taking the vet's remains to the National Cemetery in Dixon, California. And then there is the San Quentin prison. We already found one person who's buried there. He was a doctor over in Alameda County. Uh, he was actually uh, uh, arrested and convicted for an abortion, conducting an, uh, an abortion. He lasted about a year and a half there, died in prison, and uh, was buried in the pauper's grave. And we know there's more. We, uh, he served, I believe, in the Army, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It appears that San Quentin is really receptive to the idea of uh, working with us to uh, get these uh, grave sites uh, 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 found and uh, help us with getting the documentation. For Stevens, this is deeply personal. He served in Afghanistan and feels this task is an extension of his service to the country and fellow veterans. And, and it's, it's, it's necessary because, you know, uh, I will tell you that I remember going through basic training, one of the things your drill sergeant kind of hammers into you as he's yelling at you, you know what, the only benefit you have is being buried in the National Cemetery. And you know what, that is an honor, that is an honored benefit. And, and I, I know that um, uh, a lot of veterans look forward to having that benefit because that last rights, so it's, uh, it's the folding of the flag, it's the, uh, the, uh, the uh, taps being played on your behalf. Um, it's, it's, it's the honor, it's the only monument to your service. In Marin County, Teresa Estacio. For some, the military can be a gateway to a new life. When we return, Tiffany Justice will introduce us to a student from the South Bay who credits his time in the military with changing his life.